everybody, it's Tyler here at the Championship Checking Team, number 3310, Black Hawk Robotics. Holy cow, this team has done some awesome iterations coming in the championships. Division finalists, by the way, uh, at Fit DCMP, so congratulations on that. But I know this team looking for more. As we film this already, they're currently undefeated, and we can't wait to see how they continue, of uh, course, in their division as well, too. Take a look at Black Hawk and what they have to offer. I really love just this overall uh, compactness that this robot brings. Their packaging has been so great for this. And we'll be talking about some of their changes they made as well. Let's learn more about Black Hawk Robotics coming up on Behind the Bumpers. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Kayla, let's start talking about uh, on your arm here. So you got an awesome uh, overall structure for it, of course, going into your uh, gripper uh, as well, too. So I'd love to hear, give me a full breakdown of what it is, and then any changes going to be in the championships for you as well, too, for Blackhawk. So our arm is a single joint extend arm. Um, we can start up here with what we call the hat. It is a jack shaft that is powered by a constant force spring down here. It's actually inspired by our last year's climber. Um, we have gas shocks here to help balance it out, you know, keep it even during the match. Um, it's powered entirely by pulleys. There's pulleys running inside these tower frames right here. Um, in fact, two days before we left before Worlds, one of our towers snapped in half. So we had three and a half hours to fix that before we had to leave. Um, our gripper down here, it has no wrist, but um, we did change the angle coming into champs because we found that it's easier to score high. It's powered by a motor and there's rollers. Uh, down here is our drivetrain. It is our swerve. We drive swerve. Um, coming to champs, we changed that gear ratio, so we're 20% faster now. So let's break this down a little bit on here. Uh, I love to hear on your gripper. So you said you have no wrist on your gripper. Uh, are you primarily picking up from substations then, or where, where does Blackhawk like to play from? So our cone can or only, we can only pick up the cone in one orientation, which is straight up and down. Um, we have a human player that can consistently drop it in that orientation. She's practiced yeah. multiple hours on that. And this is our high position. Our pulley over here on this side moves the arm in and out. So when you're looking, one of the things I want to ask, uh, when your arm comes out, you got a lot of weight coming out there, that sort of thing. How are you compensating for your center of gravity on your robot? So all of our um, weight is at the bottom. We put tried to put all of our motors down here, and we have 35 pounds of steel plating down there as well. Um, our batteries are also down there. So basically everything on this robot is down there. So you say 35 pounds of ballast down there? Yep. Holy cow, that's crazy for it. Uh, you know, I love the overall structure for this. It's been going well. Uh, I'd like to uh, move on a couple of things. Uh, one of the things you're talking about before, uh, show Christina, is you have these fingers uh, as well too. Talk to me a little bit more about what those are and how they work, and then we'll talk about your uh, other intake over here too. So the fingers, when we pick up cones, it helps center it so that it goes into the gripper easily. And over here we have the cube intake. So when it picks up cubes, it goes into the cube intake and it feeds directly into the arm and so then we can just easily score it so strategy wise on the field do you see your team picking up more from the floor or are they actually going more to the substations typically it depends on where the objects are but we like to go to the substation and then last thing i want to ask you on your fingers here how did you come up with like using the fingers in the first place like was that something you immediately had an idea for or did that get added on later on we added these later on so that we could center the cone so that it could pick it up easily. Sure. And overall, uh, Blackhawk, Caleb, I can ask you for uh, Blackhawk Robotics, you know, coming into the, this year so far, you had a little bit of a slow start, right? Semi-finalist year for zone, which it's great for many teams, but I know Blackhawk Robotics has very high expectations. But your team has continued to rise throughout the season so far here. And like I said, as we filmed this at, at championships, you're doing really well so far. What have you attributed to like that tenacity of your team to keep getting better and better? You know, I spent a lot of time with the kids trying to walk them through what they should expect from uh, an event. And uh, we have a lot of amazing mentors that have joined this year as well that have helped guide us through this. Um, you know, we, we went with a simpler design this year specifically because we have a mostly inexperienced team. And I think that's really helped us a lot coming into the championships. 
Yeah, absolutely. And as, as you continue on, I, of course, wish you the best of luck here at the World Championships. Thank you so much for showcasing all about 3310 and Blackhawk Robotics. So good luck at championships and great robot. Thanks a lot. This video on First Updates Now is made possible by viewers like you and also the following sponsors. If your team is using SOLIDWORKS, make sure you log into the 3D Experience platform to gain access to tutorials, collaborate with other users, and download the charge up field and kit up parts. Go to SOLIDWORKS.com first and click on Log into 3D Experience platform to gain access. Animark is your one-stop shop for all your educational robotics needs. From mechanical, electrical, tools, and hardware, Animark has over 200 years of first-team experience and offers high-quality and affordable solutions for the robotics mobility and competition markets. Head on over to Animark.com to get started. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay up to date on our new videos. Keep the conversation going and provide your input to our content. Watch our live shows at twitch.tv forward slash first updates now. Join our Discord at discord.gg forward slash first updates now and check out Fun FTC on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and First Updates Now on Facebook, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter.